hey, lesson two should be really fun. Um, we're gonna go beyond basic shapes. So normally, we're just looking at these shapes over here. And actually, they change. Um, as I've been working with Tinkercad, there's a lot of new basic shapes. For example, this one right here is um, completely new. I have not seen that one before. And this scribble is also new. So those will be fun to explore. But I want you to be able to um, know that you can click on this uh, pop out menu here and you're in basic shapes, but we also have text and numbers, characters, connectors, there's featured um, shape generators, assembly parts, components, etc. And these change um, for a long time. There was an Easter bunny here, but it looks like there's a dinosaur there. So uh, let's just click on these and find out what we have here. So looks like some basic um, numbers and shapes there and characters. Let's see what this has. Okay, so these are totally new. I have not actually seen these before. This looks pretty fun because these are really kind of time consuming to make. Um, oh, I love these sunglasses. That'll be fun. And you can start out with a guy um, ready to go. Ah, here's some of the Easter Bunny parts. They still have those in there. Um, so you do like the same with everything. You can drag and drop these um, different parts. So we can make our AstroBot have a hat, carrying ice cream, wearing sunglasses, um, maybe carrying, wearing flippers too. Okay, so those are totally new. Let's look at connectors. Ah, okay, some of these are new too. Um, they used to be pretty basic, but now they're a little bit more elaborate. Um, and I'm gonna show you in lesson three some things that you can do with these when they aren't exactly what you want um, for your shapes. Let's look at this um, shape generator. Let's see what these have. Sometimes when you're loading these, it does take a little while um, to load them up. Okay, so um, actually, um, for example, this uh, Europe map, I used this before, um, and this is pretty fun because you can actually change the different countries. So I made a map of my Europe trip this summer with um, Switzerland and uh, different countries, and I attached them all and hooked them all together and then made some arrows it's showing our map of where we're going to go. So that was fun. Let's see what else there is. Um, let's go down to dinosaur. Let's check this guy out. Oh, oh this is really cool because I could totally see this being like a Godzilla part right here. Oh, that's great. Okay. So uh, I want you on lesson two to explore um, going beyond basic shapes and seeing um, what there is and what you can do with it.